Guys, it's finally here guys. It's the most wanted case ever by me. I've been waiting for this case for the past so long. I've been searching it online, comparing the prices, and you know, everything goes above 500 ringgit. But this one shop, guys, this one shop sells below 500 ringgit. It's around 470, 480 ringgit. So the case is only 482 ringgit 65 cents with shipping, which is fine at 20 cents. You have to mindset off. It's pretty cheap. It's below 500 ringgit, and you can't believe it. Like, you can't really believe it. It's gonna be that affordable if you were to compare yourself having a Taobao account waiting for like a month for just one items and you have this one shop can do it all get you the kit that you wanted all the way from China to Malaysia amazing I, I give you one link of the shop the one I got it from another link I got the previous case which is the IDX case but this Jonesburg case only the shop guys this shop sells I give it a 5 out of 5 or star I asked him can I get it within um, a week or so received within seven to ten days. I ordered it on the 5th of December Then you know six seven eight nine ten Eleven twelve seven days on a dot guys on the 12th December 12 12 2020 guys, I got the Jones bow case guys. This is amazing and uh, I just can't wait to Unbox this case with you guys because this is a case. I've been eyeing. I've been Wanting guys, this is the ultimate case that I really want. If you guys can get the stainless steel side panel, go for it. If you guys can get the one that has, they say the temper glass is actually plastic. We're gonna find out real life because no one on a freaking YouTube actually explains this. Even they do a montage video about it, B-rolls, but they don't really talk about it. And I'm like, hey man, just tell me everything about the case because there's no video about the details. There's no video out there that actually tells you in detail. Is either they speak in Chinese or Russian? But anyways, guys, enough of me talking. Let's unbox this. Yeah, I got the wrong side. So here, guys, um, you can see that's my name, Azim, Malaysia Lazada First Mile Fulfillment uh, ZF store. That's when I got it from. This is the seller. That is even the price, man. You don't even. <laughs> they just give it straightforward. UMX plus one the one thing about this case guys it doesn't like protect all the way around the only uh, dent is here here the imperfections I'm just pointing out to you guys but overall it's, it's good in condition okay, you have that inscription it's all in Chinese we got that I don't know silver color it looks like silver Let's see, I'm so happy man. For the derby fee, you can choose either one, the 3 ringgit or 4 ringgit. Or the highest one, 5 ringgit 20 cent. I picked the highest one in order for me to get an earlier one. Because the difference is only like 1 ringgit plus, why not? As an upgraded model of the UMX, that's why the plus one, the UMX one plus, I'm sorry. Brings along long awaited updates for users while maintaining the original size and classic appearance. Supports ADX power supply. Dust enthusiasts can build a powerful mini PC without a burden besides a new completely transparent acrylic. It's not, um, it's not like, see it's acrylic guys, it's not tampered glass. Side panels provides you a wide angle to see the hardware. UMX Plus supports standard ADX power supply again, they repeat the same thing. Uh, CPU CPU cooler not higher than 130 millimeter. The one that I have over there is 170 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Here, semi modular power supply within 150 millimeter customized wires will make a perfect cable management, definitely. Small and tiny, guys. Oh my god! Oh. Move this box away. Oh my god, guys. Wow, the feeling on this stainless steel is superb. You got a few screws at the bottom for some reason, it came out. Just one of one screw. So the back portion is exposed. This is an 80 millimeter fan, FYI. Uh, we have two GPU brackets here. 
Look. Wow, okay. UMX One Plus. Made in China. You can see the the emblems here. And also there's a laser engravement here. Made in China. We have a lot of screws here. So the screws here is visible. So the screws all of, all over. Uh, yeah, the only thing that's unibody is this part all the way down here. Oh, it's not acrylic. It's actually glass, guys, which is cool in a way. It's good and at the same time it's bad. But glass makes it more visible to see compared to the acrylic. If it's acrylic, uh, you can get scratched easily. And this one you have to handle with care then because it's glass. But damn, if it's glass, then it's worth the money. So we have one, two, three, four, five. All right. The screw that came with it is also the same thing. So you have an extra screw they give. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. Okay. That's the glass, guys. It's a bit smoky kind of look. And I'm not going to open up yet the tempered glass until I build the whole CPU, the whole computer. So far, this is the thickness of the glass. Pretty nice. The rounded edges is only for the top and the bottom is flat. So what we have here is one fan, white fan. I'm gonna exchange that. So to remove it, you just need to open up the screw from outside, like any other case. The fan, uh, you can actually change the fan because this grill can be put on on any fan so that's awesome the free fan is very cheap looking and nothing fancy about it it's a very basic fan very light yeah now we have a empty top which you guys can do this later place this and bam nice a little bit sharp but it's smoothing out we can tell but it's still, uh, you can cut your fingers here if you really push it in. But it's kind of, it's soft. Don't worry guys. It's soft. Okay. So if it's like this, then it's sharp. If you like go from here, it's, it's smooth. For the PSU, since uh, PSU is going to be sitting up here, which is going to be towards the back. And you can see all the ports here is very nasty looking. Which we're not going to be... I'm not fond of all these cables. Hopefully they make it simple. Yeah, even the front panel cables, they're using this kind. So this is a hassle for me. Okay, we have a 2.5 inch bay. Can we place right here, over there. See that? That is because this is hollow, it's a lot of holes. Dude, look at this. Look at this bottom, guys. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's so damn beautiful. So for this back casing gonna be open, so you have to really rely on this space. You cannot use uh, the back portion in order to do any wiring and such. No need because you guys can see here, the board itself is attached to the plate. So if you were to open this, what are you going to do with it? You know, There is a couple of screws at the bottom here. Uh, this one is for to lock the this thing into place. The filter. There's two of these. Yeah. And that's that. A lot of people in online, they actually put a fan here to as an inlet so they can have air passing here from the bottom like this suck in air and goes out from here other than that guys it's pretty compact of a case so that's why a full modular power supply is needed for this we only have two cables dangling so it looks just nice like that okay, unscrew this the screw is out take the cable bracket the thing is dangling still you have this rubberized uh, protection to protect for it to like pass current to the side because it's full metal so it's dangerous for you. 
So I think this rubber mat actually helps to insulate the electric passing of that. So take it out, bam. So it's like a U shape. So here, I have to make sure this thing is not even one. What the hell? Or the other way? Yeah, it's the other way. Woo! Oh my god! It's not this way. It's this way. Okay? Okay, I should really change clothes for work. But anyway, let's do this. And pull the wire from the bottom. One of my screws right over here, they don't actually accept as I want to place it in. So I have to remove this screw. This is a fat screw. You can see that? This is a very slim. So as you go here, it wouldn't block the whole PSU mount. Um, it was a quick unboxing, was messed up. I didn't really like have a proper way of doing so. But tonight, I have time because I just got back from work. So I have the case with me, open up. So today's video is gonna be me transplanting previous Ryzen build, the 2200G Ryzen tree. Uh, this is having a Noctua fan and so on. This is a very beautiful case as well. You can see the silver here. My other case, we do have a Ryzen 3700X. We're gonna use a cooler to get the RGB look. And of course, the CPU is gonna be a 2200G for this one, all right? So don't get confused because the 2200G, G stands for graphics. They have integrated graphics inside it. So we don't need a graphics card in this build because of my graphics card are both are used inside another case. But for that, I will not do because this build is mainly 2200G. It's good enough for basic rendering, 1080p videos, and light, light gaming, okay? So this lovely case is for ITX motherboards only. Cannot support MADX. If you guys are thinking of doing so, it cannot. As soon you put a power supply unit, it already blocks the space for it. I mean, ATX guys, so no point. So in front, we do have a two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 and a power button, which is not clicky as the one that I have. This is clicky guys. For this case, it's not. It's very loose a bit. It's not like premium. Kind of a bit disappointing. I was hoping it's to be very nice, but it's not. It's kind of cheap, like when you press, there's, a, there's somewhat, the button is a bit wobble a bit. Anyways. This is only curved on the top, but the bottom here is flat, but it doesn't, it still shows the, uh, the bottom part here, because this one ends around here. This one goes over that. So you do have that extension of a glass so there's space that you can put your finger here and then like that. So it depends on your preferences, whether you like this design or not. Some people just go with this all stainless steel panels. So let's talk about the back portion. The back portion supports only 80 millimeter fans. You can put one fan because we have four holes right over here. Unless you guys got creative, you make a hole yourself here, I don't know, but one fan. Okay guys, if you guys see here, the mounting here, this is expensive. This is fixed. This is like screw, expensive. This is cheap. This way can be removed. So when you put this thing here, it supports by this cheap way of doing so. So I don't really like it. Uh, it looks very cheap. If they should have done a dedicated mount like this. So it looks better. But in some cases, people don't want this. We want to remove the filter and put more two fans here. It's up to you guys, but yeah. All right, the inside here, you do have a 2.5 inch bracket for your hard disk. For some reason, I don't know how to remove that. There is no way for this thing to be removed. This thing is locked by this, so see that? How are you gonna remove this? If you remove this, it mounts here, which, which makes sense here. But this thing is really mount, man. So how are you going to remove this bracket? So yeah, so you can see here, they provide an extension cord. Uh, this was inverted the other way. So I unmount this screws and basically turn this to normal position. And this was tight here. 
but I cut it off. You can see the markings. It was a zip tie. I cut it off, then I can push this out and realign back the position. You guys can see here the screws, guys. The screws is kind of hideous <laughs> if you ask me from the back. Okay, uh, as you guys can see here, the inside, we do have a rubber mat. So you can see here, this is the IDX mount I was talking about and it's fixed to the plate so there's no function if you guys to remove the plate and you know play around with the cables no point so yeah unless you guys are enthusiasts but you can see here guys the bracket all the way the frame what holds these metals into place is the frame so yeah and you guys can see the PCB of the front panel is just exposed this way. There's no carving or anything and the cables are just like this. Very straightforward. You have a USB 3, uh, HD audio and the basic power switch. Okay, and USB 2.0. Yeah, pretty standard. And yeah, see the extension from here all the way here. It's just been uh, supported by this Double-sided tape clip, lol. I have a fan here, extra fan. Okay, there, 120. 120 millimeter, guys. This is a joke. No way, you have to put it outside like this. And you guys can see that. See that? Because this uh, back panel is curved. When it's curved, uh, you put a fan here. It's blocks, so it's ugly unless you can put it that way. Huh. Wait, let me show you guys. There's the screw, and we missed it. Near miss. Yep, only one screw fan here, not even here. Just one, just one, guys. Nope, just one. Impossible. So, yeah, let's go with the build. Okay. Okay, let's compare the quality between these two cases. This case, the metal is superb. It's super nice. It's like, oh god, that's a scratch. This case has its own unique color compared to this case. And we need to compare these two cases from the front panel. Both are smooth. Yeah, that's the sound. That's the material they use. This one I've tested in previous video, you guys can check that out. This is very solid because it's smaller, but let's go compare the size. The fan, that's how it is. This is how big of a difference. Pretty small, still. On the side, the front panel. Take a look. In the back Okay If I were to put this case inside Let's do that I wanna know <laughs> Oh god Guys It fits See that this is just a motherboard And a PSU at the bottom Just like that And we have this This one can put GPU no hassle. Don't need to remove the PSU, put a small GPU inside. What's for? What's the point? Just buy this case, mom. Settle, bro. This is a very famous, affordable, full modular PSU. It is a brand from First Player. It's a DK 5.0. It supports a 500 watts. So the downside of this power supply unit that they use their own cables, uh, even the 24 pins is a weird shape, size, and way of doing so. The 24 pins is a lot more than compared to the 24 pins here. So yeah, when this thing is spoiled, you can't use this thing anymore because there's no replacement for this part. Prepare the cabling where I tidy up this thing with a the plastic things. I think I should use zip tie guys. Zip tie looks way better. So the John's Bow box comes in the video that I showed you guys get a box and a manual. For this case, we don't need a manual, it's so straightforward. You got this John's Bow box inside. They do provide extra screw mounts. Uh, you can see the mounting for the IDX. We need to put that. We have a zip tie we can use for this PSU. We got a speaker. We have the mounting for 
the motherboard mounting, some small screws, I don't know what that for, some rubber mats and some stuff. This is for the SSD, clearly stated there. This is called the power screw, power supply screw, which I use my own screw that I have mounted already, so I don't need that. Because you need to use their, their power supply screws because their power supply screws are thin. So when you want to insert the power supply later, it doesn't block the bracket. The previous video showed clearly that you need to have their own flat screw. Don't use your own screw in this case, you need to have the one that they have. So it's advisable to use theirs. And this one is the water cooler screw they also give. So don't lose this guys. Uh, do we need this? It's kind of weird man. I think we do. This one is five pieces for motherboard. We have four. They, have, they give extra one. So we need to have this. Put these screws for the motherboard in. Okay. So behind here, there is a mounting. So you have to plug it to the screw at the backboard. You guys can see there's only two cables that I need. If this is a 24 pin, it's pretty long. Hiya. So I'm gonna do a zip tie here, make it nice. Nicely done. Let's get ready from there. Okay, now I'm gonna put the motherboard right here. Take this thing. Done. Ta -da. Haven't used this before, man. So it's new. Wow. How tall is this? I'm not even sure. We have a few cables. Don't throw these cables. I watched some YouTuber. They're pretty angry if you guys throw these things <laughs> accidentally. Uh, we do have, uh, I don't know what this is. So apparently there are a port here is, this is for USB. So the, it comes with a thermal paste at the bottom. You just need to plug and play. What is this for? Hey, how am I going to? Okay guys, I just figured it out. You guys need to go back to your box and get the original mounting that came with the motherboard which is using this because the CPU cooler they use that mounting system this looks like an Iron Man thing guys this is how Iron Man got the idea from oh, yeah. anyways um, let's do this place it right here yep one slot in oh easy as that just like wearing a shoe now it's in place I need to lock it in Yep, lock. Whew, I just figured it out guys. I was just playing around with it. It works. So yeah, the cooler is in place. Beautiful, we used that back plate that came with the motherboard. It's so high, man. Hopefully it doesn't disturb the case. Yeah. So now the fan. This is a four pin, that's a three pin. I need a two pin. This is the one that they say can control the RGB. I'm going for this one. It's either or guys, cannot put both at the same time. That's what I've always been told by, by the YouTuber. This is a USB 2.0. How many USBs do we have? We only have one USB. Man, this motherboard sucks. Oh God. This one used a four pin, which is easier. But this guy used like a, like a USB 2.0, which is extravagant. You just want the colors, right? Oh man, it's ugly. Can I put it here? The RAM doesn't touch the CPU. So that, that's the space. It's just cooling a 2200G guys. Low. But it looks so damn sexy. <laughs> the CPU cooler is still below the limit. Guys, I think there's clearance for the CPU cable. Go behind it. If not, this is like ugly like this way. It's a very bad idea. I didn't think so I'll do that. It's good to me, man. If you put a GPU here, guys. I think it's gonna be tangled up with a lot of wires. Now, we're gonna power it up. Let's see the results. I'm gonna put a fan now. 
We do have an extra CPU fan header over there. We're gonna plug it in right now. Let's test it out. Smell Rahim. Okay, it's on. Let's go. Whoa. Look at that RGB guys. It's so beautiful. Oh my god. So the fan here it gives out this four size of LEDs. It's not that nice. It's not that strong. It's pretty soft. I don't like it. How about this one? Wow, this is way stronger. Oh yeah, this is way better guys. Sun's bow that came with it, is it strong? Does it come out with LED lights or anything? What? It's so flimsy man. I can stop with my finger. Dude, this is nothing bro. Look! John's bow one is so flimsy. Nothing bro. The NZXC have high hopes in this. Huh. Pretty soft too. NZXT is pretty nice, pretty quiet. There's no LED or anything. Okay, it gives a good air. So let's test it again. Okay guys, 